we have an exapod. This is one exaflop of compute in 10 cabinets. In a vertical fashion, we broke the traditional barriers to scaling. And that's how we got modularity up and down the stack to add to new levels of performance. To sum it all, this is what it will be. It will be a fastest AI training computer, 4x the performance at the same cost, 1.3x better performance per watt, that is energy saving, and 5x smaller footprint. This will be Dojo Computer. Hey, I'm Steven and this is Solving the Money Problem. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. In today's episode of Tesla is just the car company, we're going to be watching as Tesla swing around their gigantic engineering brains and show off what they've developed with their Dojo chip. The too long didn't watch here is quite simple. Tesla's Dojo chip is a shockingly brilliant piece of engineering. And for the slightly longer version, let's get into the video. If you love crypto, stocks and free stuff, or just want to help out the channel, check out these great offers. BlockFi are launching the world's first Bitcoin rewards credit card. People in the US can earn 1.5% Bitcoin back on every purchase with no annual fee using the BlockFi Bitcoin rewards credit card. Check out the link in the description. And for a limited time, you can get up to $250 in crypto bonuses when funding a new account on BlockFi where you can use cryptocurrency to earn interest, borrow cash and buy or sell crypto. If you want your free crypto, use the link in the description. And if you'd like up to two free stocks, check out the link in the description to Weeble. If you open a new account, you'll get one free stock valued up to $300 just for opening an account. And if you make an initial deposit of $5 or more, you'll get a second free stock valued up to $2,000. Seriously. Free stocks? Yes, please. And finally, if you're in Australia, the UK, or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake also linked in the description. Thanks so much for your support, guys. Let's get back to it. There's an insatiable demand for speed as well as capacity for neural network training. And Elon prefetched this, and a few years back, he asked us to design a super fast training computer. And that's how we started Project Dojo. Oh, surprise, surprise. Elon Musk thinking ahead again. Hmm, fancy that. And what's the opposite of thinking ahead? That's right, being a legacy automotive manufacturer who's gonna be bankrupt by Tesla because Tesla was thinking ahead, well actually just thinking in general, and they weren't. Rip Legacy Auto. And speaking of thinking versus not thinking and legacy automotive manufacturers, who wants to take a guess at how many of the big legacy automotive manufacturers after watching Tesla's AI Day presentation, if they even did, have now begun scrambling to develop their own chips? I'm just kidding, you guys all know the answer is literally none. We wanted to attack this all the way, top to do bottom of the stack, and remove any bottlenecks at any of these levels. And let's start this journey in an inside out fashion, starting with the chip. As I described, chips have compute elements. Our smallest entity of scale is called a training node. And the choice of this node is very important to ensure seamless scaling. If you go too small, it will run fast, but the overheads of synchronization will, and software will dominate. If you pick it too big, it will have complexities in implementation in the real hardware and ultimately run into memory bottleneck issues. And even in the physical realm, we made it extremely modular such that we could start abutting these training nodes in any direction and start forming the compute plane that we envisioned. When we click together 354 of these training nodes, we get our compute array. It's capable of delivering 362 teraflops of machine learning compute. And of course, the high bandwidth fabric that interconnects these. And around this compute array, we surrounded it with high speed, low power services, 576 of them. To to enable us to have extreme IO bandwidth coming out of this chip. Just to give you a comparison point, this is more than two times the bandwidth coming out of the state-of-the-art networking switch chips which are out there today. And network switch chips are supposed to be the gold standards for IO bandwidth. Okay, remember guys, Tesla is just a car company. Yeah, despite this, they've developed their own in-house chip with two times the bandwidth of the current world state-of-the-art technology. 
Take a moment to let that sink in, really. Think about this for a moment. Every time Tesla applies their gigantic engineering brains to a problem, they come up with things that have never been done before that make an embarrassment, a mockery of the current industry best. Tesla is doing things in manufacturing like the gigantic gigacasting. They're doing incredible groundbreaking things in computer vision. Shout out to my recent video featuring Lex Friedman's reaction, literally saying it's the most incredible, amazing thing he's ever seen in this particular realm. Tesla's vehicles are literally destroying the performance of everything that's ever existed on the planet before in terms of accelerate, like you guys understand, right? And then they decide, oh, let's make a chip for training our neural networks. And they do that and they create something that literally shits all over the world's best today. This is important. Every time Tesla tackles a problem with their big engineering brains, they don't just solve the problem, they make a mockery of the problem. If we put all of it together, we get training optimized chip, our D1 chip. This chip is manufactured in seven nanometer technology. It packs 50 billion transistors in a miserly 645 millimeter square. One thing you'll notice, 100% of the area out here is going towards machine learning training and bandwidth. There is no dark silicon, there is no legacy support. This is a pure machine learning machine. This is the D1 chip in a flip chip BGA package. This was entirely designed by Tesla team internally, all the way from the architecture to GDS out and package. So yeah, just wanted to remind you guys and girls once again that Tesla is just a car company. <laughs> this chip is like a GPU level compute with a CPU level flexibility and twice the network chip level IO bandwidth. If I were to plot the IO bandwidth on the vertical scale versus teraflops of compute that is available in the state of the art machine learning chips are there, uh, including some of the startups, you can easily see why our design point excels beyond par. Well, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. Might I suggest you guys and girls pause the video and let that picture sink in. Now that we had this fundamental physical building block, how to design the system around it? Let's see. Since D1 chips can seamlessly connect without any glue to each other, we just started putting them together. We just put Five hundred thousand training nodes together to form our compute plane. This is thousand five hundred D one chips seamlessly connected to each other. In order to achieve this compute plane, we had to come up with a new way of integrating these chips together. I'm just going to quickly translate for you guys and girls. Tesla once again needed to apply their big brains in order to do something that has never been done before. And this is what we call as a training tile. This is the unit of scale for our system. This is a groundbreaking integration of 25 known good D1 dies onto a fan out wafer process, tightly integrated such that it preserves the bandwidth between them. The maximum bandwidth is preserved there. And in addition, we generated a connector, a high bandwidth, high density connector that preserves the bandwidth coming out of this training tile. And this tile gives us nine petaflops of compute with a massive IO bandwidth coming out of it. This perhaps is the biggest organic MCM in the chip industry, multi-chip module. Now, if you know, you know, and if you don't, well, this is fucking insane. Once again, we're hearing terms like biggest and best in industry. Once again, a great opportunity to remind you guys for the 420th time, Tesla is just a car company. <laughs> it was not easy to design this. There were no tools that existed. All the tools were croaking. Even our compute cluster couldn't handle it. We had to, our engineers came up with different ways of solving this. They created new methods to make this a reality. I think this is probably one of the most overlooked comments in the entire Tesla AI Day presentation. As we heard there, Tesla needed to do something that's never been done before. Great, we'll just use the tools that people use to make new things that have never been made before and off we go. Oh, f wait, there's no tools to make the thing we need to make. F we've got to make some new tools first to make the thing that's never been made before. All right, well, we'll just make some new tools and then make the thing that's never been made before because we're Tesla and we have big brains and that's what we do. Now that we had our compute plane tile with high bandwidth IOs, 
we had to feed it with power. And here, we came up with a new way of feeding power vertically. We created a custom voltage regulator module that could be reflowed directly, directly onto this fan out wafer. So what did we did out here is we got chip, package, and we brought PCB level technology of reflow onto this fan out wafer technology. This is a lot of integration already out here, but we didn't stop here. We integrated the entire electrical, thermal, and mechanical pieces out here to form our training tile fully integrated, interfacing with a 52 volt DC input. It's unprecedented. This is an amazing piece of engineering. He ain't wrong. This is a brilliant, beautiful, and elegant piece of engineering. And once again, you guys and girls have been blowing up my DMs asking for merch, so who am I to say no to the people? Check out the link in the description for your own dojo training tile, shirts, mugs, and hoodies. Once again, just like the Optimus Bot shirt, these are available for a limited time, and I'm not messing around, guys. A lot of people were disappointed when there was no more Optimus Bot merch, so if you're interested, now is the time. They won't be in the store for very long, so check out the link in the description. And just an aside, if you guys or girls have any merch requests, let me know in the comments below or slide into my DMs on Instagram at Stephen Mark Ryan or on Twitter also at Stephen Mark Ryan. I can't respond to all of your requests and I don't do custom stuff, but if I get enough requests for the same thing, much like this chip design, well, hey, who am I to say no? What it is, is a nine petaflop training tile. This becomes our unit of scale for our system. And this is real. For some unknown reason, this comment just reminded me to say a warm and friendly hello, a special shout out to my good friend, Trevor Meltdown Milton, and his real, real fraud charges. Hope you're doing well and enjoying your freedom while it lasts, Trevor. It's real. I can't believe I'm holding nine petaflops out here. How to form a compute cluster out of it. By now, you must have realized our modularity story is pretty strong. We just put together some tiles. We just tile together tiles. <laughs> a two by three tile in a tray makes our training matrix, and two trays in a cabinet give 100 petaflops of compute. Did we stop here? No. <laughs> we just integrated seamlessly. We broke the cabinet walls. We integrated these tiles seamlessly all the way through, preserving the bandwidth. There's no bandwidth divot out here. There's no bandwidth cliffs. All the tiles are seamlessly connected with the same bandwidth. And with this, we have an exapod. This is one exaflop of compute in 10 cabinets. It's more than a million training nodes that you saw. We paid meticulous attention to that training node, and there are one million nodes out here. Well, if you know, you know, and if you don't, one simple way to think about this today, the world's most powerful supercomputer, as in the most powerful supercomputer on the entire planet, its performance is measured in petaflops. Exaflops is the next level up. So with all this, we integrated in a vertical fashion. We broke the traditional barriers to scaling. And that's how we got modularity up and down the stack to add to new levels of performance. To sum it all, this is what it will be. It will be a fastest AI training computer, 4x the performance at the same cost, 1.3x better performance per watt, that is energy saving, and 5x smaller footprint. This will be Dojo Computer. Well, the numbers don't lie. I mean, Jesus Christ, this is absolutely insane. Tesla, just an automotive manufacturer, have in-house developed the world's fastest AI training computer. Not incrementally faster either. We're talking about four times the performance in five times less physical footprint, and it's more energy efficient to boot. And 
we are not done. We are assembling our first cabinets pretty soon, and we have a whole next generation plan already. We are thinking about 10x more with different aspects that we can do all the way from silicon to the system again. We will have this journey again. We are recruiting heavily for all of these areas. Thank you very much. So Tesla has designed the world's fastest AI training computer ever, fastest on the planet, one more time, the fastest AI training computer on the entire planet. And they already are working on the next generation with a 10x improvement over this. What the actual fuck? I mean, honestly, I just don't even. I mean, it doesn't even compute. <laughs> See what I did there? Oh, that was so fucking bad. Anyway, uh, let me know what you guys thought of the video in the comments below. I personally think that Dojo was the most important technology that Tesla discussed during their AI day. I mean, the humanoid robots are going to be cool and the implications are stunning. But this Dojo chip is on a whole other level. And talk about an example of Tesla's brilliant engineering capabilities. They put their mind to a task and you know what? We need to redesign this. We need to design some new tools to design this. They come up with something that absolutely shits all over everything else currently available on the planet by a massive margin. Talk about creating your own destiny. Tesla takes everything into their own hands. We need to train our neural networks. World's best supercomputers aren't good enough. Let's just design our own. And then they go and actually do it. I mean, honestly, it's stunning, mind-blowing. What Tesla has come up with, their Dojo chip design, the world's fastest AI training computer by a significant margin, an elegant, beautiful, efficient chip design that's effectively infinitely scalable, something that's never been done before. Tesla are on a whole other level. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Did Dojo blow your mind? Or your pants? <laughs> or both? And finally, don't forget, if you'd like to pick up your own Dojo chip stack, the training tile merch design, there's a link in the description. As I said, limited time only, so if you're interested, now's the time. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan, this is Solving the Money Problem, and I love you all. And don't forget the BlockFi Bitcoin Rewards credit card, where you can earn 1.5% Bitcoin back on every purchase. There's a link in the description. You can also earn up to $250 in crypto bonuses when funding a new account on BlockFi, also linked below. And finally, don't forget your free stocks with Weeble and Stake, also linked in the description. These great offers also help out the channel. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. I read all your comments. P.S. If you're still watching, you're awesome. If you'd like early access, exclusive videos, regular Q&As, our private Discord server and more, consider supporting the channel at patreon.com slash solving the money problem so I can keep creating content for you guys. There's a link in the description. You can now also become a member of the channel for some exclusive perks. To learn more, click the join button next to subscribe. And don't forget to check out our merch store. Either way, the best form of support is you being here and watching, so thanks again.